Hello everybody, this is John from DroidDog.com. I'm sure most of you are already aware that starting today, T-Mobile has available in their stores the MyTouch 3G Slide for $429.99 outright and $179.99 on contract after a $50 mail-in rebate. So I figured why not go ahead and do an unboxing on Droid Dog here today. I also want you guys to send in your questions and requests on the phone, which I will respond to later in videos. At least I'll do my best to get to as many of them as possible. In order to ask me a question about the phone or to tell me what you'd like to see me do with it on video, you can at reply me on Twitter. That's phone dog underscore John. Or you can send me a text message at 503 Mob Bark. That's for text messages only. Nobody's going to be answering the phone or checking voicemails. Whichever way you decide to contact me, please mention the MyTouch 3G slide in the message so I know which phone you're talking about. All right, let's get to it. So here's the box, wrapped in plastic. And this thing is like designed to uh, withstand military-grade explosives, I think. I'm pretty excited about this phone, despite it not being uh, you know, one of the uh, super phones that we've all grown accustomed to, those of us who are obsessed with having the latest and greatest Androids. Um, I liked the original MyTouch form factor, uh, and I've been missing having a hardware keyboard. So this should be interesting to try out. If you remember the original MyTouch packaging, that seemed pretty solid. This is just almost ridiculous with the, uh, I guess it's plastic, but it looks like metal uh, casing there. So we've got the getting started. Uh, there's this accessories. Uh, the MyTouch collection. Yeah, all kinds of accessories. SIM. Recycling program, warranty. Hotspot terms and conditions, etc. See if I can keep from knocking my camera over there. So what we have in the box is they're very slick looking, portable AC adapter, which of course uh, takes a standard USB cable. I'm not sure what that is up there. Probably just uh, yeah leftover gunk from manufacturing there. And the cable itself goes from standard USB to micro USB, which is nice. And we have a cool little pocket for the headset, which is three and a half millimeter, does not require an adapter. Inline controls, looks like back, skip, play, pause, call, answer, and end. And under here we got uh, you know a couple of the rings and little foamy things to put on them, as well as a clip for your tire shirt. Obviously thicker than the original MyTouch. Let's see if we can fire it up. Just a little notch that you pull up on. Uh, they've protected the battery and I should have known that because I saw Noah do the same thing in his unboxing. But I forgot. Let's snap that back on there. Oh, by the way, I should have pointed out that this comes with an 8 gigabyte SD card, which is nice. Especially considering that uh, when it gets Froyo, uh, it will have apps to SD capability. So uh, let's just take a quick look around this thing. Home menu, back, and genius button, which I'm curious about. Uh, three and a half millimeter audio jack up top. Volume rocker on the left. Uh, camera button on the right. Micro USB on the bottom. Got a five megapixel cam with autofocus and flash on the back. The phone obviously has uh, 3G, Bluetooth, GPS, uh, Wi-Fi. Comes with the swipe keyboard. And I believe this one also comes with the uh, double twist syncing software. And I'm probably going to take a second here to uh, pop in my SIM and get everything set up so we can just take a quick browse around the phone itself, the, the UI, the uh, customized sense interface because I'm definitely interested in seeing that. Peel this puppy off. Your MyTouch 3G slide is a reflection of who you are, your life, your interests, and the people you love. With a few clicks, you will easily create the phone perfect for you. Stay informed, organized, and connected to the people who matter most to you. Welcome to MyTouch. Let's make it 100% you. Uh, I should have mentioned 
during the very intro there, that this is a 3.4 inch screen, so it's a little bit bigger than the original MyTouch. Okay, choose a theme. Oh, cool. Oh, I like that one. That looks pretty slick. Hope I'm not going through these too fast. That's pretty cool, though, to start up the uh, setup with a phone right away with a with a theme. What should I go for? Purple or orange? I don't know. I think I'm, I'm going to go with purple because it looks better with the black, I think. I actually wanted to get either white or red, but uh, my local T-Mobile store only had black remaining. I love black. It's a good color for phones. You know, black is the new black. But I uh, just thought I'd try something a little flashier this time. Oh, well. I keep in touch with my closest friends and family by always checking my social networks or by recent uh, photos. Social networks. Next. Coordinating activities with friends and family means keeping up with my schedule, checking my mail. Mm. Both, but I'm going to go with schedule because I like to have that somewhere on my screen. I'm going to allow them to do wireless net networks and GPS for services. All right, so I signed into my accounts there, got everything up and running, and then I decided I should uh, go ahead and pop my SIM in here. And I just wanted to give you guys an idea of what to expect inside the back of the phone. Um, you've got this little flap that clicks into place, and it uh, holds your SIM in place with these little clasps. And then you pop it back into place like that. Nothing, uh, you know, really wrong with that. Personally, I prefer to see as few moving parts in this section of the phone as possible. Um, let's see, we've got a... 1300 milliamp per hour battery. Can you see that? Yeah. If you're looking at the front of the phone, your micro SD card is on the left side of the device. And as you can see, it comes with 8 gigabytes. Clicks into place, so you have to remove the battery cover to get to the SD card, but not the battery itself. A couple things I've noticed off the bat on, um, you know, this is not a review, but uh, the slide mechanism. It's smoother than, say, on the uh, the G1, for instance. You can hear the plastic rubbing together, but it pl feels pretty smooth. I noticed on the keyboard here that because the alternate characters, the function char characters as it's listed here on the keyboard, are the same size and the same color as the primary letters that you're going to be using in typing. And that kind of threw me for a loop at first because you have to uh, adjust to where their alternate characters are. Um, so that would have been nice if there was some differentiation in there. I also noticed that it didn't prompt me for a Wi-Fi network setup uh, before asking me to sync my accounts and all that stuff, which is nice. I've seen that on a couple of phones, not here though. Um, but here is your uh, default home screen based on the theme that I chose. And I've got some social widgets, mail, my calendar. It specifically asked me if I wanted those things. Uh, I'll show you real quick here. Swipe keyboard, which I am not an expert on at all. You need to talk to Andrew Steffi if you want to know something about this thing. But you know, I <laughs> I already I couldn't even type the I. Uh, I will check it out and try to learn this thing because I never really gave it a, a good go before. All right, so stay tuned. Don't forget to send me your questions and requests. Take care.